Hello guys and welcome to our farm. Today we are going to create our very own mandalas. Now if you don't know what a mandala is, let me show you. They are absolutely stunning little things. Check this one out. Created by me by hand. Aren't they fantastic? It's a fantastic way to relax, enjoy art, especially if you love colouring in. I love colouring in. Let me show you these little ones that I've done as well in my book. I have a big book of art that I love to draw and paint in all the time. Aren't they gorgeous? So that is what we're going to do today. So all we need today is a sheet of paper. We need lots of round things like plates, tape, toilet rolls, we need maybe jars, lids of jars, uh, maybe the top of a print stick, all sorts of any things, maybe the top of a lid of a spray can, something like that, anything at all. So that is all we need for today. And then of course, we're gonna need some markers, ordinary felt tips or permanent markers. So I've got my permanent markers here. I've got a big bag full of felt tips. And I have also got my colouring pencils. Okay, so that's all we need. Now, if you have and want to use watercolours, you can use those. I won't use those today because I'm trying to do a quick lesson and it'll take too long for them to dry. But if you have watercolours, you use your watercolours as well. So, let's create our mandalas. Off we go. Now, a pencil is all you need then as well to draw out your first circle for your mandala. I am going to use a marker so that you can see it more clearly on the screen. I'm going to tilt my screen down as well so that you can see exactly what it is I'm going to be doing. Let me just see here. I think that's cool there. And you can also see these ones inside as well, just to give you that wee bit of inspiration. So let's go. I'm going to start off with, no, not that. I'm going to start off with my plate, okay? Now you can create these any size you want. They can be massive. I've done giant ones of these in the past. But we're going to create a small one for just for the, an example of today's lesson so that we cram it all in to the time we have. So just very easily hold your plate down and draw around your plate. Everybody I'm sure can try that out. If you need help, just get someone to give you a wee hand with that. They can either hold the plate and you can draw around or the other way about. You could hold the plate and they could draw around for you, whatever is easiest for you. So that's the first circle done there. The next one, so get one that's not too small, but kind of next in size, which is the tape for me here. I'm hoping you can still see this all right. And I'm going to draw around the tape, just like that. Excellent. And now I'm going to try the lid of the spray that I have there. I'm going to draw around that. So it's three big thick circles there. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change my pen to a thinner pen. I love to do that because then you have thick and thin lines. So look at that. We've got three there at the minute. So just kind of that's kind of the same way as I started that one. I'm now going to get my lid of the little jar that I have. And I'm going to draw around that one. I'm going to put that in the center. I'm going to draw around that with my thin pen. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to put the lid back on that again. Let me just show you that one. See? And what I'm going to do is, I might just bring this down just a little bit so you can kind of maybe see that a little bit better. That might be better there for you guys. So, I'm going to now freehand. So if you're comfortable enough, do a freehand circle. You have to go steady and slow with this one. Uh, make your own circle around one of the circles that you've already made. I love to do this because sometimes when you're drawn around something, it's too perfect. And I hate perfect. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There goes my hay fever again. So there we go there. Oh, I like that, look, because it's not perfect. And it looks amazing, doesn't it? I'm gonna get another one around this bigger one now here. 
nice and slow and steady. What you can do is turn your page around to help you. And so you don't smudge it. Turn the page around again. And there we have it. Oh, my nose is all itchy now. I'm going to use the top of the pit stick for the middle one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a freehand middle one again with my thicker pen. So we have thick and thin lines. It's all in the detail. Now let me show you this one up close. Look at that. So simple as that. All the circles, small circles inside each other. Isn't that cool? Now, the next thing we're going to do is, again, now you can do yours with pencil, as I say, and then you can go over it with pen if you want. Or if you feel comfortable enough, work away with the pen. But just in case you make a wee accident, I always advise that you use a pencil first, and then you can rub it out in case you have any of those wee happy accidents. Now, what we're going to do now is all our little patterns inside it. So we have zigzags and swirls and all sorts of different things. Stripes. I'm going to start off with a few wee lines for stripes here. Get this in here. Double them up. Now you take your time with this and think it through. I'm doing it pretty fast because I'm so used to it. And remember, at any stage, if you need to press pause, you can do that to finish off a wee bit and then come back and press play again. I'm going to do some little hoops, kind of half circles around this, nearly like flower petals. And turn your page around to suit you so you're not having to stretch out and lose your balance what you're doing. Keep turning the page around. Take your time with these guys. And try your best to keep them all the same size. Look at that. So we're getting all those nice little patterns there. All right. I'm going to do maybe some zigzags now, zigzags, so it's like little triangles. Again, keep turning the page around. That's like a sun now in the middle. I'll show you this up close in a second. Oh, I just love doing these. It's so relaxing. I get totally lost in it. Look at that. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now I'm going to do maybe a couple of big lines in this big one. Just like that. And at the side. Just like that. And I think, guys, I'm going to keep mine simple like that today. But you can go on and you can add as many as you like, like these ones here. You can see these here, if I just kind of tilt it down again a little more, you can see how there's loads of detail in that one and this one here, and the amount of details that I have in that one too. So there's so much you can do. You can create so many different ones all the time. So, all we need now is, if you're using paints, you can use your paints to begin with. And then when it dries, then you can work over the top of it with markers. But I'm just gonna use all markers because of the time that I have. So I'm gonna go straight in with this pink. I love this pink one. And I'm using nice thick paper so it doesn't really come through to the other side that much which is good. If you are using permanent markers and you have thin paper, always protect your table underneath. Oh look at that. Love these big markers, they're so cool. Look at the colours. Love the colours in it. And then I'm going to do the opposite. So sometimes mandalas are like a, a mirror image. So you want to do the other side the same. Now for this part, you guys can use all your favourite colours. Just like what I'm doing. I love pinks and purples and things like that. So use your favourite colours. <clears throat> Where's my lid? There it is there. And I'm going to use this nice colour now for here. Oh, look at 
look at that. Nice and steady around the edges. And the thing I love about these markers is it has a real thick edge. So you can get loads done at any one time. And then we have this side to do. So what you can do is you can use markers, you can use pencils, gel pens, paints, and you can use all of those materials on this if you want. So you have loads of different mediums that you've used. Sometimes I'm going to, I'm going to use a pen, bit of pencil here now so you can see the difference. Sometimes if you use pencil, it gives it a nice light kind of colour. Whereas the markers are really strong and dark. So you get that nice light and dark. Just like this one here, you've got the nice light and dark. You can see where I use the colouring pencils where it's lovely and light. And then the dark with the markers. That's exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm going to use pencils now. Take your time now. I'm flying here just for you guys. And I love doing these. I will sit at home at night time in my sitting room, watching a wee bit of TV and doodling in my book, creating mandalas. It's a lovely thing to do. Now I'm also going to use some of my other colours, my felt tips. So I have loads of different shades of purples. These take quite a bit of time to do. So you could be at one of these maybe for a good full hour if you wanted or longer. I see me wor working on some for about a week. So they can be as detailed or as simple as you like. Call the whole thing in. Just keep an eye on my time here. I only have about five minutes or less left. So I may not get mine finished, but you have seen the finished piece anyway. So once you do, colour it all in, right? Let me just show you before we do finish up. I'm going to colour the whole thing in. And once you do do that, actually, let me do one more. I'm dying to see what this one's like. Oh, <gasps> yeah. I wonder do you guys get a, get as excited as I do when it comes to colouring in? <laughs> I absolutely love it. That is beautiful. So what you can do then is you can do more detail on top of what you've done. So I might do stripes on this with this colour. Oh yes. Look at that. I'm going to show you now up close. Because once you colour it in, you can do more detail on it. Look at that. Doesn't that look class? I might do a little bit on the inside. Excuse me while I sniff on my nose again. <laughs> oh, I like the screen. I have to use the screen. all colored in and once it's all colored in you can get your black pen again and you can even do more detail with the black pen over the top like what I'm doing here I'm doing more like flower petals around it let me show you now up close and then you can even do circles inside that it's all about Adding more and more layers every time. 
until it gets so detailed that people be absolutely amazed and they think, wow, how did you do that? So I'm going to work away on that on my own time. Now I'm going to keep adding loads more and more detail to that. So keep you working at yours until the whole thing is coloured in and is like that, guys. So there you have it, your very own mandala. And you can create them all different sizes, large, small. I've done giant ones with groups of people before. They're just amazing to do. I've even have full journal books full of them that I love to do, create and make myself. So it's an amazing thing to do. So enjoy that and I'll see you next time, hopefully. Bye.